Stampers Gainer again. As promised, video two of the night. <laughs> I'm doing it, uh, I'm using the Count My Blessings, which is new in the uh, 2017 autumn winter catalogue. Absolutely beautiful. You would have all had your catalogues by now. Um, and if this one is it's, it's called an angle cut card. Because you decide what angle you want to cut your card and you cut it. And I have added this beautiful uh, ribbon to match the designer series paper underneath in the old olive. It's a few little rhinestones. And I've stamped my image and I've used, I don't even see up close, I've gone around the edge a little bit with tiny little bit of smoky slate really weakened down to make the flowers pop off the page and to take away a little bit of boredom from all the white. But uh, I think it's an absolutely stunning card. I just popped a couple of uh, the second imprint on the inside to decorate. So we're going to get going and make this card. It's so simple to make. You're going to need your standard card base. Um, in the UK that is eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored at four and one eighth. In the US it's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. So I'm going to burnish my card. Oh, that's pretty good tonight. Yay! <laughs> I don't know me I always get that score line right. But that's pretty good tonight. Perfect. You're going to need a piece of Whisper White then, which is cut at a quarter of an inch all round uh, smaller. So for us, this is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. And in America, this is four by five and a quarter. And I got a piece of designer series paper, which I've cut at three inches by three and seven eighths. And in America, that would be three inches by four and a quarter. It's just to give you options. So I'm going to attach this now to my card and then we can set this to one side until we need it later. And this designer series paper is also out of the new catalogue and it's called Painted Harvest. Absolutely beautiful. There's some stunning designs for autumn. Um, and then, oops, I'm knocking everything everywhere. Uh, I want to make sure my leaves look absolutely stunning, so I do turn them around, but I think that's way is perfect. It's a nice quarter inch all the way around. Absolutely beautiful. So we don't need this anymore, but we can pop it to one side just for a moment. And now we're going to take our trimmer and we're going to, oh, first of all, I'm going to just get a little pencil and I'm going to mark, this is the back of my card. Well, this is the back now, there's a little smudge on there, I don't know what that is. Oh, I don't know what that is, so, right. I'm just going to pick pinpoint a part on the bottom of the card where I'm going to want my angle coming to. I'm going to have it over this side. So I'm just putting a little notch there. It's up to you where you want to put your notch. You can put it in the centre and point it to the centre. I want mine slightly off on this one. I'm going to take your trimmer now. I'm going to pop this in. And we're going to take that little point in the track where you blade cuts. And it's up to you as well, how deep you want it, or how shallow you want it. I'm going to pop mine about there, I think. Making sure that line is banged in that track. I'm going to snip it off. And then I'm going to turn it this way. And then cut that. I don't know how that's slightly deeper, actually. And just trim it off. So you've got a lovely point at the bottom. And if you want to go ahead and take away that pencil mark, yeah, it's entirely up to you. But we're not going to be using that side of the card. We're going to turn it over. I wanted a bit of jag. I'm just going to trim up my end so it's perfect now. You can save those or throw those, that's entirely up to you. 
I've had some good response uh, over the past few days. I've got a few cards I've done. I'm just going to smooth my edges out. And I would like to thank everyone for your support for that. That's absolutely amazing of you. And it's up to you where you stamp your flowers as well. You can have them any way you want. You can have them coming straight up the page. Oh, there's a bit of silver from last week's project. As you can't pick up. <laughs> I've got bits everywhere. I've even got glitter from the last project I just done. You can change the colours of your flowers. Entirely up to you. It's your card. You're making it. So I'm going to... Actually, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna have a bit more detail now on my card. So I'm gonna stamp this way tonight for this one. Oh, it's beautiful! Absolutely beautiful. And I'm gonna add a little bit more to this side. I'm gonna have the two flowers coming in this side. So it's it's the same card principally, but it's gonna to look totally different. I'm gonna oh while well, this is inked up, I'm just gonna pop them flowers on the inside of my card, but this way. Two totally different cards, but uh, oh I've made a bit of a boo-boo there. Let's, uh, let's get that off quick. And everybody asks me about this rubber. Absolutely everybody. And it's made by Tombow and it's called a Mono Sand Eraser 512A. And it's for ink. But uh, I had this sent to me by one of my beautiful customers. Absolutely stunning. One of my subscribers as well. Uh, and I, I'm not sure where she got it from. Bless her. I think she did tell me once, but I've got a head like a sieve. Um, but I'm sure over in America you could get them off uh, Amazon or go to Staples even. Your stationary uh, people. So that's there. So I've rectified that. And we could You could add colour if you want to, but this is just for the inside of my card. So let's pop that over there now. I'm not going to add my sentiment yet until I've finished with my watercolours and watercolours. I'm use oh, I used um, hmm, I used my ink and aqua pen. Should I use my crayons? No, we'll stick to what we know, Gainer. So I'm going to do my leaves and pet stems first. Oh, what am I doing? Look at me. I need it open. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a, one drop of water. Well, I ended up with two. <laughs> I'm just going to pull this down. Just going to start doing my leaves. I'm going to go in lightly at first because you can have them as dark or as light as you want. And I can always come back in and add a little bit more colour if needs be, or shadowing even. I hope you've all had a lovely weekend and continue to have one through to Sunday. Gonna have a nice roast beef dinner tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait for that. Ooh, I gotta have a really steady hand on there, really thin line. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna grab some of this darker here and just go down these stem lines. Where there's dotting marks are, that's for me is the shadowing. So I'm going to add a bit there, and I'm not oversaturating saturating my brush because I don't want my paper to start getting 
getting too saturated either because I'm not using watercolour paper. But I am using thick cardstock. So I'm going to try and get rid of this colour now off my brush. Because I don't want none of that bleed in it. That's not too bad at all. I'm going to close this up. And I'm going to come in now with my beautiful crushed curry. I've got a small desk here. I need to extend it to a larger one. <laughs> so I'm going to push some more colour in there. Perfect. And I'm just going to add one drop this time. Dear the air then. I'm just going to go over. And if I fancy a little bit darker. Sorry, I get so engrossed. <laughs> Just you add as much depth of colour as you want. In the end, I'm going to come in with our Cajun craze and I'm going to really put some splash of colour in this. So. Oh, <laughs> my husband's sneaking off out. He's just come back from fishing, bless him. His first words out of his mouth was, I'm starving. <laughs> That's a blunt for you. I love this set. And everyone will be going mental once they get their painted harvest sets. So don't forget to order your leaf punch. <gasps> oh my God, girls. That will sell out fast, otherwise you need to order them. If you're one of my customers, get on my site quickly and get them before they all go. And then you'll be waiting weeks for the new ones to come in. Look how beautiful these paint with. And oddly, you don't have to use oddly anything. Beautiful. And with my shadowing now, I'm going to leave it at that. Because um, I am going to come in, like I say, with a different tone over the top now. So I'm going to clean this brush off. That's better. And then I'm going to use my Cajun Craze. Oh, Jared, it wasn't too fast on this colour. I think it's that I can't get any to squeeze in my lid very well. Look, see, it's not transparent. So what I'm going to do, two seconds, I'm going to see if I can find whereabouts my Cajun craze is. Yay! And I'm going to add a drop. It's a brand new ink pad, really. One drop, that's all I'm going to do. That's all I need. Just how wonderful that looks. Just like that, even. So, I'm definitely going to add plenty of water. Because this is really dark and rich. Wow. See what I mean? Try shouldn't have there. So I'm just going to run my bristles down the sides. And what a difference it makes to this card. Absolutely beautiful. 
and this these colors are autumn colors canvas spring you could add spring colors you you can add any color you want it's absolutely stunning and that ink was plenty on that one first brush look how it's carried over onto these other flowers so i want it like it's the bursting up like flames absolutely beautiful and even stamping up provide um, and I'm just gonna dot in the center so it looks like the center should be this burnt orange color oh my god that's beautiful and compare it now See what I mean about the flower with the grey now around the edge? It pops it off the page. And I think that is absolutely beautiful. And it hasn't really saturated my card very much. Look at all that mess now. <laughs> I'm going to... I will stay in the lid. Don't trust me, don't worry. I do store my stamps this way as well, so it's not going to drip all over the place. The only thing is now I've got to clean my bristles I can't say I'll do it later because I need it now for my grey to go on it's getting there it's getting there Oh, in two seconds I'll be, I'll get up some more tissue and I'll perhaps run it under the tap a little bit. There we go, that's better. Oh, oh. look at that, a lot, a lot cleaner now. And I just run that under the tap, so it must be seeping up. But I'm sure that will be fine now because I'm not going to be squeezing any more ink down there. So it's going to blow this. Oh, I am actually. See that little bit of pink there? It's no good. And now I'm just going to carefully go around the outside with the grey. When it dries, you just need it faint. When it dries, it will pop right off that page. I see it starting now. Absolutely wonderful. It's just a technique called shadowing and it just helps whatever you've just created to pop off the page oh we used to do this when i was in school <laughs> many moons ago that's sweet you don't have to add too much Oh, that's beautiful. I 
Well, if I see where I've missed, it's starting to dry. It's amazing. Oh, it's beautiful. That's all we need. That's all she needs. <laughs> I'm going to pop my inks away and my aqua painter. I'm going to clear that off later. So isn't that beautiful? And it's a totally different card. Oh, beautiful. Now I'm going to come back in for my sentiment and then we're going to add the ribbon then. And we're going to add lots of dimensionals. Right, let me see where this is. Thinking of you. Oh, isn't that beautiful? And I love the font on this, it's amazing. Get that nice and juicy. You don't want to go all the way to the top because you're adding your ribbon. Um, but I angled this the wrong way earlier. So I'm just going to angle this a little bit better. I'm going to wait for my ink to transfer. <laughs> Oh, perfect. I love that. Love, 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 love it. Oh, that is so sweet. And it's straighter. <laughs> straighter. So I'm just going to cut enough off to wrap around my card. I didn't tie it round and then do my bow. I did it like this. <laughs> And then I had a good six or seven, well, about seven inches. I'm going to cut eight just to be on the safe side. Oh, my luck. I probably haven't done enough. <laughs> so I'm just going to add, I'm just going to pop this one side. Because we're adding dimensionals, I'm just going to add, well, in the right place would help. Add a dimensional there. Line this up perfectly. That's lush, that's about right for me. And I'm going to take another dimensional. And I'm going to add it to that. I'm not going to take them off yet because I've got to add my bow. <laughs> I can check that it's straight. Perfect. So now, now we are going to add dimensionals. I'm going to need it quite a few. I try not to get them. Perfect. They are lovely. I'm going to add a couple in the centre. Perfect. So, where am I? My little tool friend is coming to help because I've got my nails on. <laughs> Perfect. I'd have a fast forward button for this. No. There we go. I'm going to fix my card basin. Now you've got to make sure the tip is uh, at the tip of your designer series paper and lined up perfectly. You don't want it overlapping. Perfect. Oh my God. I know it's a little bit close there, but it doesn't really make any odds. I'm loving that. Absolutely loving it. These in the bin, they get everywhere. <laughs> I keep flicking them in the dog's bed. So I'm going to fetch my lovely little bow maker in. Of Amazon, they do sell them in America as well. 
I did send a link to one lady. I hope she found it okay and purchased a bow maker with success. <laughs> Look at me. It's these bloody nails. <laughs> fingers and thumbs <laughs> so it's a crossover now it's underneath and back under and then you can straighten your don't get it too tight but you get your little bow perfect and then you can pull it tight when you've got it perfect because once you pull it tight and lift it off that's not going nowhere and then you can manipulate your tails then. It's not pretty, but that's the back of the bow, because look, there's my lovely tie bit there. Isn't that sweet? So I'm going to add this now. I'm just going to grab a little glue dot. I don't want to curl it up, because it's such a thin ribbon. I'm just going to take it and curl it up. And I'm going to add this to the back. And it's the back, isn't it? Yeah. And then we can pop this wherever we want it. Oh, I'm getting good with the bow maker girls and boys. <laughs> You want to leave them that long, you can leave them that long, but I'm going to trim off. I should take my ribbon scissors out. Uh, somebody, a lovely lady, sent me some ribbon scissors and I popped them down somewhere when I was uh, redecorating the craft space I've got. I think they're in the drawer, so I will have to find them out. Perfect. Oh my god, that's lush. And if you want your bow to sit perfect, you can always add one behind as well. So, in comes my rhinestones. I did add one to my little bow, just to set it up. Oops. Isn't that pretty? You can manipulate that later. And then I just... just <laughs> tongue tied strategically placed the three of my lovely little rhinestones the other one hmm. yes now I'm going to pop it up here how's that Oh my god, that is so beautiful. And if you want to add a wink, Estella, go ahead, lovelies. I might do that now, actually. Just a tiny little bit, just maybe to the tips. Oh my god, look at that. You haven't seen me use wink, Estella, for a few days, so... Get it on there. Oh, that's absolutely... Oh, I can't help myself. That's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Can you see now where the grey's dried? And now it makes your flowers pop off the page. That is beautiful. Don't, if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the bottom right, uh, right hand corner. And then a little bell will come up next to it. And if you press that little bell, it will uh, 
send you notifications every time I pop a video on, which tends to be every day or like today twice. I'm loving that. I'm, I'm going to go down the leaves as well. Perfect. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And there you have it. There's my two cards. Um, totally different. The sentiments differently laid out. The bows are exactly the same. I'm going to do something with that. Try and adjust that. And perhaps I'll uh, pop a dimension. In fact, I'll do that now because it uh, needs another blue dot then. Just to keep it into place. Because it's lifting up too high to me. That's better. Let me just push it in. That's so much better. Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, there's the one we've just made. This is the one I did earlier. Um... You can add a sentiment at, at later. It's entirely up to you. Because thinking of you, um, it could be a sorrow card. It could be um, a thank you card. It could be a birthday card even. Just pop a sentiment inside to whatever you, uh, you're feeling at the time. Or whoever it's for and what situation. Because thinking of you, no matter what you send the person a card for, you are obviously thinking of them in the first place. So I hope you like and give it a thumbs up. A share would be amazing and hit the subscription button down in this right hand corner and then click the bell for more notifications but uh, until next time thanks for watching god bless you all good night bye